What's up everybody and welcome back to Ducks and Download. So in this week's episode we're getting back to a book review. We're going to be going over Phase 2 High Republic Convergence is the second novel in the Phase 2 run after Path of Deceit but the first in the more advanced reader or adult novelization. I will have to give Path of Deceit the darker, more honestly brutal book, but Convergence is jam-packed with a lot of amazing action and really good sleuthing, investigation, and political scheming. It's an extremely fun thriller with way more politics and political intrigue than I would have thought from one of the main titles, which normally covers a lot more of the swashbuckler Jedi type. Speaking of Jedi, the main character in this book is Gela Natai, an absolutely stellar Jedi with dual-wielding purple lightsabers. The setting of this book ties into Phase 1 of the High Republic being in the space of Iram and Arano, where Starlight Beacon will be built in over a hundred years. Iram and Arano, of course, have been in a war for centuries on and off with truces and multiple attempts at peace that have all faltered and ended in constant war over these last centuries. But all that comes to an end when we get a really awesome and crazy mix as the princess and prince from Iram and Arano decide to marry one another to bring peace to the planets. This of course leads to a lot of tension and rebellious cells forming which causes a constant amount of adventure and super interesting dialogue. Now of course we will have a bit of a tie-in with the path as they are the big villains in all of this and things are starting to really coalesce into an idea, especially if you read the comics and the other books, that it seems like Jetta is gonna become a huge part of phase two. I'm looking forward to January, in which we get the Battle of Jetta audio drama, in which I think a lot of the comic and book are gonna to lead to moments within that audio drama. The High Republic has done an amazing job of tying together all of its material, and that is always super cool to me. Our Jedi hero is joined by Axel Greylark, son of one of the Chancellors of the Republic and an all-around playboy kind of scumbag. He's one of those rich philanthropists that is using the money to mask the absolute pain and suffering in his heart from not having a good enough childhood and being neglected by his parents who cared more about politics than him. He does a lot of things that make you hate him, then he does a few things that make you want to love him, and at the end of it, you don't really know how to feel about him. There's going to be a lot of people who find him to be a plucky rogue, but honestly, he's the guy who hides a zombie bite in the apocalypse. That's Axel Greylark, without giving away too much. In Phase 2, we get to see two Chancellors during the High Republic in this era. This is very unique, but actually really cool, as we get to see a Quarren and then Human Chancellor coexisting together, running the Republic from Outer Rim and Core, both representing their sectors, of course, the Quarren representing the Outer Rim, and the human representing more of the core worlds. Well, in the fashion of the High Republic, the author of this one absolutely made me fall in love with some of the side characters that I thought were just going to be in the background, but definitely took a massive lead in this. The groom and bride are beautiful roles, and I really hope to see them more in future High Republic stuff from Phase 2. The relationship between Gela Natai and Axel Greylark is very well written, with lots of tension, both in a surprising way and in a more expected way, but you'll have to read the book to find out. I highly recommend this one, and as always, The High Republic has definitely delivered some of the most amazing Star Wars. I look forward to seeing where Phase 2 is going to go and sharing all of that with you. So, of course, thank you all for joining me. Have an amazing rest of your day, and may the Force serve you well.